You know, friends, it's the little things. This book my kids gave me, it came with a beautiful little gold pen, and the gold pen ran out of ink. And I was thinking about, gee, I wish I could replace the gold pen. This isn't it. My husband got this and put it on the counter the other day. God knew that I was hoping for a gold pen. You know how silly that is? But you know that it's these little things that God reminds us. I'm watching out for you. I know the desires of your heart. The big stuff, I got to leave that to him because he orchestrates stuff. And according to here, it says that um, the Lord spake unto Moses face to face as a man speaketh unto his friend. He doesn't speak to us face to face right now. If that's happening to you, bless you. But this book, Faith Come by Hearing, Hearing by the Word of God. By the Word of God. But Moses was literally given direction. And I had some notes here from the 23rd of March. I was just reviewing them, forgot that I even wrote them. And it said in Exodus that um, the whole congregation of the children of Israel murmured against Moses and Aaron. Remember something Moses uh, told the Lord, I can't speak, Lord. Apparently he had a stutter or some type of speech impediment, made him insecure, as if the Lord didn't know. And so, honoring Moses' prayer, the second best, his brother Aaron was used to speak on his behalf, but Moses was still the one called. Aaron was just a mouthpiece for him. And it looks like the people were complaining and accusing and murmuring because once they get delivered from the real bondage, now they've got to deal with the consequences of the desert and the journey. Isn't that us? There's so much going on in my life right now. This journey, I'm going to be very honest with you, in so many ways it completely sucks. And in so many ways there are the blessings of the gold pen. Because God is constantly reminding me. I hear your innermost thoughts. Certain things you don't even have to pray for. But you know what? I do. I pray for my children. I pray for our families. I pray for all of you who hear anything I have to say because I only want God to be glorified. Jesus Christ saved my soul from a burning hell because I'm a sinner. You're a sinner. He said it was finished. Don't murmur and complain about the journey. It's very rough. But God is faithful. And it says that there was no water. So Moses was told, to smite the rock. He smote the rock. That was Old Testament. It was a picture of what was to come. In John 19, 34, Jesus was smote, and out of his side came water. Out of that rock came water. Jesus is the rock of our salvation. Have a blessed day.